When you look at an object in a mirror, its reflection is somehow different. If we compare the original with the image in the mirror, we can see that the mirror image appears to have been flipped left to right, but up and down haven't been affected. Why is this? Is there something special about the left-right axis? The key here is actually the way that we're comparing the two. We've moved the object and image side by side so we can see their differences, but in doing so, we rotated the object around to face the same way as the image. This seems quite natural, because it's how we move around in the real world when we want to match someone's perspective, but it's not a trivial step in the comparison process. What if instead of turning the object around like this, we flipped it over the top of the mirror? Now we have a different result. The image is the same as the object, left to right, but it's been flipped up and down. Now at this point you may be thinking, well, of course it's flipped upside down. You turn the object end over end before you compare the two. And you're right, but realize that the same reasoning applies to our first method. Of course the image was flipped left to right there, because we spun the object around that way before comparing them. It turns out that up and down are what's special, because we live on a planet where gravity is always pulling us downwards. We're just more mentally comfortable with rotating things left and right in our heads than messing with the vertical axis, but really either of these transformations is an equally valid way of figuring out how the mirror image is different from the original object. So which of these comparison methods is more accurate? Is either one a better representation of what the mirror is actually doing? Well, there's a third way of doing this, which involves no rotations at all. All we need to do is move the object directly through the mirror to the image. This way, left and right as well as up and down are unaffected. The mirror image has simply been flipped across the plane of the mirror. This makes perfect sense if you think about how mirrors actually work. All they're doing is reproducing what's in front of them on the other side. Whatever's closest to the mirror in the real world will be closest to it in the image. Whatever's far away will be far away on the other side. So when you look at yourself in a mirror, you haven't been flipped left to right or up and down. Really, the mirror has inverted you across its surface, effectively pulling your nose out through the back of your head. The easiest way to convince yourself of this new way of thinking about mirror images is to write something on a clear surface and hold it up so that you can read it. If you look through a mirror now, you should notice that the mirror image no longer appears flipped left and right or up and down. It's simply been flipped through the plane of the mirror so that the ink now appears on the other side of the surface.